hello friends once again welcome back to the automation revolution uh, in this video we will learn about user datagram protocol uh, communication between plc and pc system if you want to know uh, more detail about udp so you can uh, google it and it's the uh, same protocol like tcp ip but uh, there is some uh, difference between udp and uh, tcp ip so you can uh, uh, search on google or internet for the more detail so here uh, we have Siemens TI portal software and uh, I have configured Siemens S7 300 CPU. So you can see this is S7 300 PLC. First we will uh, set IP address. So as you can see I have, I have given uh, 172.16.12.46 IP address. And uh, second thing we will do in the PLC is uh, clock memory enable. So I have uh, enabled the clock memory in this PLC. So after assigning IP address and uh, clock memory, uh, we will uh, download the PLC. So here we have successfully configured the PLC. Now I will go for main OB and here uh, we will make the programming required for UDP communication. So you can see there are four blocks used uh, here for UDP communication. Uh, first one is for uh, making the connection. Second one is for uh, terminate the uh, connection. Third one is uh, sending the data. And uh, fourth one is receiving the data. So UDP is open uh, communication protocol. So for that uh, we will go for instruction and uh, from there we are getting the option communication. So in the communication uh, there are another option user open user communication and here we will we are getting uh, different blocks so first block we will use for establish the communication connection so you can see i have already used uh, t connection block here in the letter and there are different parameter uh, you can see that we will configure in this block so first one is for enable uh, this block so i have used here digital input i136.0 for enabling this t uh, communication block second thing is request id so uh, the clock memory which we have enabled in the plc that uh, we will assign here m0.0 then uh, we will click on this button for configuration so you will get connection parameterization here here we have two options local and partner from the partner we will select unspecified cpu next is interface so it will take by default profinet interface and uh, the address which we have assigned in the plc it will take automatically the important thing is connection type so here we will select udp connection uh, because we want udp communication uh, between plc and pc the connection id it will take automatically one but you can change on the connection id as per your requirement and uh, the connection data if you go for the new so it will take automatically plc one connection db so i have already uh, taken the connection data here next and very important thing is address detail so here uh, two types of address is there local port and partner port so from that uh, I will assign address detail local port 2011 for example you can uh, configure or you can give here any address any local port address that address we will use uh, for UDP test tool uh, that we will see next so after uh, establishing this uh, connection parameter we will go for block parameterization and uh, here there are different bits like input output uh, request completion bleed, requesting processing bit busy, error and uh, status information. So these are the bit or uh, memory word uh, for further detail if you if you don't configure this addressing so we can keep as, as it is it's not uh, mandatory. After uh, making parameterization for T communication block we will secondly uh, take T disk communication or terminate communication connection block. So same uh, from open user communication here uh, we will find this block I just drag and drop this block 
I one thirty six point one. I have used for enable uh, this T uh, disconnection block. The same uh, M zero point zero clock memory I have given for request pulse ID. I will use one because uh, in T con uh, connection block I have, we have used ID one. Then we will go for configuration for T uh, connection. Here uh, there is no any uh, further configuration for the parameterization, so only we will give here a done bit uh, busy error and status uh, memory word, so yeah, that you can uh, give here. So these are two block for uh, making connection and terminate the connection uh, for UDP. Now we will see very important uh, programming block for UDP. So that you will get from this communication and open user communication. So here we are getting to uh, another block TU send and TU receive. So first we will uh, take this block TU receive for uh, receiving the data uh, from the PC or UDP client. So I will just drag and drop TU receive block here. Then this is the bit for enable so i have uh, given uh, i136.2 and this is for uh, enable ready so after enable uh, we will uh, give this signal i136.3 so this block will uh, receive the data the same id, uh, ID address we will uh, use here one then uh, these are the two very important factor data and address so for data we, are, uh, we will use extra data block so you can see here I have used here uh, receive data block so from the add new block uh, you can create here new data block that I already uh, created block here receive data block because uh, here we are receiving the data so I uh, created this receive data block and uh, here I have given any uh, parameter like data and I will uh, create here array for uh, 1 to 100 array limit you can define any data type here uh, so for example here I've used character data type but you can uh, use here bit or byte any data type as per your uh, application uh, which data you want to send uh, from a UDP uh, client so example I have used here character data type and error limit I have used uh, up to 100 so you can see here uh, there are 100 different character uh, parameter available so whatever, whatever data is coming from UDP uh, client that will store in this uh, receive data block and we will uh, see here which data is coming from UDP client so after uh, making this data we will assign here the same data block so I will click on this and here I will define the same data block here uh, this question mark is coming because uh, first you need to compile this block and uh, then you can see here it will take automatically addressing uh, for this uh, data so second important thing in this uh, TU receive block is assigning this address uh, for signing this address uh, once again we need to create an extra data block so you can see here I have uh, created one TU send uh, sorry uh, TU receive uh, block and in this block we need to uh, assign special data type so this is special data data type from uh, Siemens uh, you can get detailed information about uh, this addressing by uh, help menu so we will open the help menu for TU uh, receive block here uh, we have address and I will open this link so you can see here you must create a DB that contains one or more data structure as per uh, UDP uh, TA double DR and PR this is the special uh, data type uh, for creation uh, of addressing so I will copy this data type and uh, in this TU receive data block I will uh, paste this data type 
you can see here you will get a remote partner IP address and port number so it will create automatically uh, this data block and uh, detail so here we will get uh, local uh, local or partner IP address and uh, the port number that we have assigned in UDP client next thing uh, for sending the data we will use tu send block from open user communication so i will drag and drop this block and uh, here you can see enable uh, bit for requesting uh, we will use digital input i136.5 this is for id same address id address we will use for length we will create uh, extra data block for sending so i have used uh, this send data block and uh, for example uh, we will create uh, one array of length uh, 20 so you can see i have used uh, here data type byte and array limit up to 20 so we will create here total uh, byte of 20 uh, array limit and that length we will assign here we will compile this block and we will assign here addressing from this uh, send data block for uh, addressing to send one second we will open the help menu and uh, we need special data type uh, that is available from Siemens addressing so I will copy paste this addressing and once again we will create data block for sending the data and we will paste uh, this data type so here you will get a remote IP address and port so you can see uh, this is uh, detail uh, from hex value so uh, which uh, which is the IP address available in PLC uh, that uh, in hex detail you will get uh, this port number and IP address same uh, like TU receive we will assign sorry uh, we will assign here data and uh, addressing we will assign TU uh, send static you can assign the downbeat busy error and status as per your requirement and after assigning this four block uh, addressing uh, we will compile and download in the PLC okay so first uh, first of all uh, we will uh, send the data from UDP client uh, to PLC so that we will see so for uh, sending the data from UDP client we need uh, one tool a UDP tool that that are uh, uh, there are there are many uh, UDP tools available in internet uh, that are open source you can uh, get so here I have used UDP test tool uh, 3.0 and uh, for sending the data I will assign the IP address for the PLC so you can see uh, 172.16.12.46 this is the IP address of the PLC and uh, this is the port number uh, which we have used earlier uh, for making the connection so from the connection parameter uh, you can see the local port now I want to send the data so I will uh, write one sentence or character and I will send the data so this is IP address and port uh, are mandatory and we need exactly IP address and port uh, that is available in the PLC and uh, here you will get the uh, hex data log now if you want to see in PLC so uh, we will open receive data block and I will open the monitoring on sorry uh, first I will make the connection and uh, now I will enable I136.2 
2 and 3. So it, you can see in receive data block, uh, we will we'll get automation revolution, uh, this type of uh, data in particular character. Now we want to send the data. So for that uh, we will use the send data block and here uh, we have used different values particular error wise and I want to send this data uh, in UDP client. So once again I will open the UDP uh, test tool and I will assign the IP address of this PC. So you can uh, search from here. So this is our PC IP address and uh, that I have configured in local IP address or host. This is the port uh, uh, used for uh, this PC. So that detail uh, you can uh, know from uh, this block. So I will open uh, monitoring on. So this is the uh, TU send uh, block uh, port address. This is uh, given in hex value. So we will uh, see. dd and f8 that will convert in decimal so this is the port uh, address which we need to assign in udp test so you can see here the same port uh, we have assigned in uh, udp now uh, we will bind this connection so first uh, i will terminate old connection by clicking this i136.1 so this is this connection block is activated now i will once again make the connection d uh, connection and uh, now we will send the data by enabling i136.4 and this request id, ID i136.5 so you can see here uh, by giving the pulse i136.5 uh, you will get data in UDP test tool. Once again I will uh, give the pulse. So uh, you will get the data in hex uh, data log. So this is our data uh, coming in hex value. So this value we will get in UDP uh, test tool. Once again uh, we want to send the data. So you can send in PLC and that detail you can see in receive data. So I will terminate uh, old connection. So you can see now we are getting uh, thanks for watching latest data in our uh, receive data block. So this is the UDP communication uh, between PLC and PC. Uh, so thank you very much for watching uh, this video. If you like our video please share and subscribe.